What was the scariest moment in your life? When asked this, many will stumble for an answer, desperately searching to find anything in their life that could be deemed as scary. However, answers can usually be split into two categories. For many, trivial incidents bring to mind. Their pet cat went missing for a week, or a spider fell on their head. When it is true that these incidents provide fear, it is momentarily. Some people have more serious tales. Perhaps a car crash left them fighting for their life. Or maybe they were mugged. These encounters provide a much more powerful form of fear. One where survival is not certain, and strength or intelligence is needed to survive. While these are two main categories of fear for a normal person that can experience, there is a third. The majority of people will never experience this kind of fear. It can only truly be felt in extreme circumstances. But what kind of situation can induce this type of fear? Situations where there is no escape. No matter what you do, you cannot stop the inevitable. Imagine you wake up in a small room. It's dark and cold. The room appears to be devoid of any detail. In the dark, it's difficult to see, but you appear to be surrounded by gray walls. You attempt to stand up, but realize you can't. Something is preventing you from moving your legs. You try to move your hands, but they are too secured. You sit there, confused and nervous, when a sliver of light appears right in front of you. A door opens suddenly and you are blinded by the light flooding the room. A silhouette obscures from some light, meaning that somebody is coming into the room. The rusty sound of the door swinging back to close tells you that wherever you are, it has been use for a long time. A dim light appears above you, and it becomes clear that the man has turned on a small light bulb. The light provides just enough light for you to see what's going on. You realize that the walls are not completely gray, and appear to have dark red patches covering them. The person was the most disturbing aspect, though. The immense height suggests it's a man, although it's impossible to tell. The face is obscured by long, greasy black hair. A crude mask also covers his face, which looked like it was made of scrap materials sewn together with haste. It is impossible to see his eyes. But through those small slits, you know he's staring at you. As you stare at this bizarre creature, he pulls out a gun. It suddenly dawns on you what's happening. This man is here to kill you, and he has done so before. The red splotches make sense to you now. Many people have died before you. There is no motive behind this. You are not the first it is highly unlikely that you'll be the last. This man, no, this creature, has taken you here to kill you. You try to say something and realize that you've been gagged. The creature has prepared for this and knows what you do. It has taken every measure to ensure that you die in this room. Your mind desperately searches for anything to do. Your options are either too impractical or impossible. He raises his gun. In the last few seconds of your life, you realize there's nothing, nothing you can do. This is the third type of fear. It is pure fear. When the brain knows there's no escape, and that you will die in a few precious seconds. The feeling cannot be described as nobody has ever felt it and lived to tell the tale. So, when you asked about the scariest moment in your life, understand that you felt only one of two categories. You never felt category three, pure fear.